nightmare. You're just a busy nightmare, huh? Nightmare, huh? Welcome to Trivia Party! Don't people find it weird that I keep on adding interactive elements into my illogical video for like no reasons whatsoever? Well anyway, you logical viewers who have ended up here, it's time to I, I mean to answer some trivia questions! It's very simple, just pick the correct answer, and if you're right, you get cash, but if you get it wrong, you must go to the uh, to, uh, uh, I mean it's okay if you get it wrong, no hard feelings, right? Aren't you looking good today? May I ask for your name? Uh-huh, Moody Dolly, huh? Alright, since you're the only player today, get past five questions to win the game. And now, it's time for the first question. What is this object? 
Aren't you excited that we're only on the first question? And the correct answer is... Whoops, I guess I forgot to include the correct answer in the bunch. Anyway, since you guessed it wrong, it's time to go to... To move on to the second question. How many gift boxes are there in the fourth anniversary? Remember, we're counting all kinds of gift boxes. Who paid? How do you know? This question is actually legit. And because of that, I don't really know if you answer right or wrong, so let's just skip that part. Alright, moving on to the third question. Why does Dancer exist in the 4th Anniversary? I'm on fire, please help. Who said? Well, apparently all of the answers are correct. Who would have thought? On to the 4th question. How many 4s can you find in the 4th Anniversary? Time's running out. Now for the answer. If you thought the answer was four, then you probably have missed the ones in the background. Ha! Huh? Got you! Th that is if you got it wrong. If you're correct, good on you. But anyway, it's time for the last question. Why are you still watching this illogical video? Locking your answer before it's too late. Who chose? Twice! Now you never know the answer! <laughs>
Um, yeah, hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, the colorful house inside everyone's feelings. This is Akim Leia speaking. Today we're going to be doing experiment test 846. Today we're trying to grow a tree on glass. So this is a piece of glass that I just happen to have. And uh, what happens is we're going to try to, you know, get some uh, tree on there. So right here I have some tree seed. Oh, these are obviously real seed. They're not like some sunflower seed or something. Obviously tree seed, okay? So uh, yeah, you uh, put them on here. And then, uh, uh, yeah, you, uh, you get some water. Hold on a second. Okay, and you just put them over. Yeah, some water for the seed. Uh, I don't know how to do this part. I'm just gonna do it like that. Uh, God damn it, it's leaking everywhere. Well, whatever. And of course, uh, yes, the, the last part is to use a light source, which I happen to have a flashlight here. We're gonna flash them in and see how it goes. What the? F what the fuck? What the fuck is this? I didn't waste this many freaking time for this. Ah, that is annoying. It's so wet too. Uh, this is definitely not what we wanted, guys. Uh. Hi. Huh? Uh, 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 God dang it, we have to go, we have to go. Hello Logical Viewers, it's me, the Sun's Boy again. I was featured before in Logic in National Project for a roast. And today, it's time to do it again with Rolling Sky Level Nips. Ready or not, here we go! Today, we're going to be taking a look at 5 levels in particular, but only focusing on the names of those levels. You better be prepared for some illogical stuff. Anyway, go ahead and just start the Pokemon, cause we're starting now. The first level is Saturday Music. Now you may be wondering, what the hell is Saturday Music? Frankly, my friend, I don't have clue. I also don't have clue. But more importantly, why should we focus on the music instead of the level itself? You can just turn our music down. The name is so awesome to you, it makes me want to vomit my thoughts out. Next up, we have another future. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I'm gonna feature myself in at first. I can 
Sam is at you love the fucking level with you guys. It's so illogical. Ah. Well, anyway, yeah, that's basically all about it. The level is like a just like real life because you don't have any idea what your future will be. <laughs> After presentation, we are favorite. Can you say this level's name make no fucking sense? Like, seriously. On one end, you have fear. On the other end, you have fucking failure. I got BS on this one. What an outstanding move. Oh, yeah, by the way, try searching for VR Fairy on YouTube. And I'm responsible for pop up. I'm nice, sunny. Yes, sunny. I'm oh, a fucking generic name. The sound about the name, sunny. Sunny. Like, how do you guys make me to do it? <laughs> Alright, the goddamn level doesn't even have sunny. What is going on with this level? I'm not going on the I don't see. And finally, we have dynamic cool. <sighs> Just end my life. And my goddamn life. Put me on some steak and just it. I'm so done with these levels. Dynamic, cool. Like, nothing about the level is flexible. Let alone having any cool for the map. I guess if I get cool, watch your children. You have this. This. This monstrosity. Well, viewers, that's my Rose of Biological Level's name in my sky. Let's hope the developers put more game to. Oh wait, the game is removed from the Google Play Store. For fuck's sake. Anyway, bye. Two thousand years later.
2,000 years later.